I call upon you to resign today, today. In a contentious Capitol Hill hearing, United States Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle found few allies. Now, bipartisan calls for her to resign as House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, who called her agency the face of incompetence. And ranking member Jamie Raskin say she must leave as a first step to allowing new leadership to swiftly address this crisis and rebuild the trust. I just don't think this is partisan. If you have an assassination attempt on a president, a former president, or uh, a candidate, you need to resign. In the face of intense scrutiny, Director Cheadle immediately took responsibility for what she called a failure. The Secret Service's solemn mission is to protect our nation's leaders. On July 13th, we failed. As a director of the United States Secret Service, I take full responsibility for any security lapse of our agency. However, for more than four hours, Cheadle refused to answer even the most basic questions nine days after the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. I would have to get back to you. That is a no. You're full of today. Cheadle was asked multiple times why Secret Service agents weren't stationed on the roof where a gunman eventually shot Trump from a distance of less than 150 yards. Can you answer why the Secret Service didn't place a single agent on the roof? We are still looking into the advanced process and the decisions right, that were right. made. Okay, okay. Members of the committee pressed Cheadle for answers about why the former president was allowed to take the stage even after she admitted the Secret Service had been notified between two and five times police were looking for a suspicious person. Cheadle repeatedly said law enforcement didn't immediately determine that person who turned out to be the shooter was a threat. If the detail had been passed information that there was a threat, the detail would never have brought the former president out onto stage. The hearing comes as the agency admits it denied some requests for additional security from the Trump team in the two years leading up to the rally, though Cheadle denied anything was withheld on the day of the shooting. For the event in Butler, there were no requests that were denied. As far as requests... Well, maybe they got tired of asking. The chorus for her resignation has only grown louder since she was confronted at the RNC in Milwaukee. You owe the people answers. Still, Cheadle says she has no plans to leave. I think that I am the best person to lead the Secret Service at this time. Certainly, members of Congress today expressed their own level of frustration with respect to a lack of transparency from the Secret Service. There was this hearing today. We've all been hearing about it. It got pretty volatile at moments when um, there was all of these opportunities for the Secret Service head to answer questions, yeah. the most basic level of which have been already reported. You expressed your sincere frustration, <laughs> let me say, when you described her as being full of shit was the yeah. phrase that you used. Yeah. Tell me what got you to that point and what were you hoping she would answer? Well, I had watched an hour and a half of questioning by both Democrats and Republicans alike and nobody getting an answer. She wouldn't even tell us how many Secret Service agents were on the ground at the Trump rally that day, literally. And you could hear the, the frustration, not just in Republican voices, but in Democrats too. I was simply um, airing and publicizing the emotion that I think everybody was feeling. I just said aloud what everyone else was thinking. It was a rare moment of unanimity, I will admit on that mm. point. Did you get a sense as to why she wouldn't give the answers? Is it because there's an active investigation going on? She constantly referred you to the FBI. Is there some reason behind the scenes that the American public would not be privy to as to why it might be obvious to her that she cannot convey information and not obvious to you? Well, she made a lot of excuses and she would talk in generalities. Well, I can talk in general about this. It was clear that she's been coached pretty much for all of the last nine days, coached into not answering the questions. And so uh, many of us called for her resignation today. Uh, if she won't resign, she should be fired. I actually just minutes ago uh, filed a privileged motion to impeach her. Mm -hmm. um, and that privileged motion will force a vote in the next 48 hours. Like I'm tired of- Do you have support for that from the other side of the aisle well? I'm well? hearing from my members uh, tonight who wanna be added to it. Uh, if you called for her resignation, then you should vote for her impeachment. This isn't difficult. This isn't a gotcha moment. Moment. This is a defining moment for our country. I don't care who's president. I don't care your political party. You should be protected. Even RFK Jr. should get Secret Service protection. This should never happen in America. It, sh it just shouldn't. And so we want to make sure that when folks do something wrong, that they're held accountable. She has not been held to account. She is not taking responsibility. She is not being transparent or forward with the Oversight Committee. She has not given a single piece of information to the Oversight Committee that we've asked for. 
that's wrong. She ought to be kicked out for it. And I, and I expect to get, I hope that we'll get bipartisan support. If, if, if us on both sides of the aisle say she's got to go, let's force her to go. Jonathan Wackrow, uh, our uh, law enforcement analyst uh, and former Secret Service agent. Uh, Jonathan, your uh, reaction to all of this, I know there was some concern in having the director step down in between two different political conventions. I mean, that obviously, th th that means the Secret Service is gonna have some turnover now. It's gonna have a, a shakeup at the top of the agency heading into the DNC. But what's your reaction to all this? Uh, well, uh, Jim, uh, good morning. Yes, and that, yeah. that, that is a concern. But, you know, as an institution, uh, the Secret Service is prepared for uh, any type of uh, you know, a, a acute leadership change. So the institution has been preparing uh, for the DNC and uh, the political activity that surrounds it for you know years now, regardless of who's at the top spot. So I don't think you'll see any direct impact on that. But in terms of you know the the director stepping down, this is the this is the right call. Yesterday's testimony was a disaster to say the least, uh, mm -hmm. and it really undermined the credibility of the um, uh, the women and men of the Secret Service that that are putting their lives on the line every single day. I mean, from the very beginning uh, of this incident, the director. Uh, you know, uh, was was absent. Really, you know, we we did not hear from the director immediately following the shooting. So the post incident management from pillar to post uh, by the director was uh, you know was was lacking, and the leadership uh, of the Secret Service in this moment of a crisis was was also in a vacuum. So uh, this is the right call. The Secret Service will be able to move on from this. But after yesterday's testimony, there was no other option uh, than for the uh, the director to step down. Kimberly Cheadle out as director of the Secret Service. Cheadle resigning amid intense scrutiny following the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump at a Pennsylvania rally earlier this month. I'm happy to, to uh, see that she has heeded the call of both Republicans and Democrats. Um, now we have to pick up the pieces. Members of both parties have been calling for her to step down, mounting pressure that only grew following a contentious hearing on Capitol Hill Monday. You're full of today. You're just being completely dishonest. If you have an assassination attempt on a president, a former president, or uh, a candidate, you need to resign. You should have come today ready to give us answers. I call upon you to resign today. Unwilling to answer many questions from the House Oversight Committee. We are just nine days out from this uh, incident, and there's still an ongoing investigation. Cheadle provided little clarity on how a gunman was able to get access to a roof that was so close and with a clear line of sight to the former president. The gunman's bullets narrowly missed Trump's head, but left one rally goer dead and others injured. The Secret Service's solemn mission is to protect our nation's leaders. On July 13th, we failed. Cheadle's resignation comes as lawmakers and an internal government watchdog move forward with investigations into the agency's handling of Trump's protection. In Washington, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting.